I'm Jennifer from the Worcester branch of the Wayne County Public Library. And if you enjoy quick reads that straddle the line between fantasy and sci-fi, here are a handful of novellas that might interest you. First, Fina by Nino Cipri takes the reader to a big box DIY furniture store that is so big and convoluted in its layout, it's no surprise that the occasional customer gets lost. And when a young woman comes to the service desk to say that her grandmother has disappeared, the manager sends the two lowest paid employees, who are also former lovers, in search of her. What they discover is a wormhole into another dimension. And after a short but unsettling training video, I mean, apparently wormholes are not uncommon in this chain of stores, Ava and Jules head through the wormhole in search of the grandmother. Their adventures are interesting and often entertaining as they dodge enemies, find allies, critique their capitalist work environment, and work through their relationship problems. Look for Fina through Clevenet as well as Overdrive. Next, we have two novellas from author Becky Chambers. In To Be Taught If Fortunate, a crew of four astronauts travel to other worlds, not to find a new Earth to colonize, but simply to observe and learn about the different life forms that they find. Theirs is a long-term mission. They travel for years in between worlds, their bodies in stasis for the journey, and then spend a couple of years on each planet for an in-depth survey. Politics and society may change back on Earth, but the length of their mission means they are free to pursue the wonder of scientific discovery. While this crew encounters some challenging situations, the story itself is more character-driven than action-oriented. The team of four generally works together well, but when conflict arises in dealing with problematic life forms or the lack of news from home, their arguments highlight bigger philosophical issues over the goals of science and space exploration. This thoughtful, hopeful novella can be found through Clavenet as well as through both Overdrive and Hoopla as an ebook or e audiobook. The newer novella from Chambers is A Psalm for the Wild Built, the first in a new series. In this world, robots gained self-awareness centuries before, walking away from their labor and wandering into the wilds. Now they are considered nothing more than myth, and humans live a more spiritually enlightened existence in harmony with nature. Our main character, Dex, however, has reached a point when they feel like their work as a monk no longer has meaning. They decide to pursue life as a tea monk, traveling between cities to offer people tea and a listening ear. And when they decide to travel to a distant temple, they are surprised one evening by a robot emerging from the woods, eager to meet them and to answer the question, what do humans need? The robot, charmingly named Splendid Speckled Mosscap, explains what has happened to robots over the centuries and how the robots are ready to keep their ancient promise to check in with humanity. And as Mosscap tags along with Dex on their journey, this unlikely duo talks, learns more about each other, and explores what it means to be human to have purpose, and to live. Again, this is not an action-packed story, but rather a calm, slightly meandering meditation on life and the human spirit. Dex's dissatisfaction with a utopian life could be seen as privileged, but also as innately human, and the story provides comfort and reassurance. The novella is available through Clevenet, as well as Overdrive. Finally, on the fantasy end of the spectrum, we have a pair of novellas from Carrie Vaughan, The Ghosts of Sherwood, and The Heirs of Loxley. As you might guess from the titles, these novellas are based on the legend of Robin Hood, and they offer glimpses of life for this character 
after marrying the fair Maid Marian and defeating the Sheriff of Nottingham. At the beginning of The Ghosts of Sherwood, Robin of Loxley has had to make peace with Prince John, now King of England, and has appeared at court to swear his fealty. Once he returns home, however, a political rival kidnaps his three children, and he must call on friends and allies to help him bring his children home. In the heirs of Loxley, those same children, Mary, John, and Eleanor, are older and ready to play their own roles. Mary is considering a potential betrothal. John wants to make his own mark at court under the new king, the young Henry III. And quiet Eleanor, still a very young teenager, is growing up quickly. As they experience court for the first time, they meet new friends and get caught up in a breathtaking adventure that has implications for their future lives. Both of these stories are quick reads, and if you're a fan of Robin Hood, you will enjoy learning how the legend lives on in the younger generation. Both are available here at Worcester in print and on Overdrive only as e-audiobooks. Happy reading! 